So Liz and I are just enjoying a coffee here and this little squirrel that you can probably can't see in the distance was up on the bird cage and I opened up the window and I went morning and he just booted the whole thing off on the floor so I've got to go out and put it back in place. Scared the life out of him, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so zealous with his good morning. <laughs> <laughs> But we are due to have an absolutely beautiful week. The sun coming through the trees. So nice in the mornings. <laughs> oh no. All the birds will have to come down to the ground. Nah, that'll be alright. I might give them some more feed. Ah, but whilst we're here, I don't know if you'll recognise, but basically this bed has all been changed around so I dug out all of the plants and I'll show later on where I replanted them and I planted these David Austin roses in replacement of them so this is kind of going to be like a rose garden section with obviously the rose bush that goes over on the other side I've still got the same job to do so here we have four pots of roses so I'm going to basically take all of this out and then put the four roses in here and then this whole section will just be like a big rose garden and Lydia will be very happy. One of the main tasks today is installing these lights, which arrived yesterday. There's 15 in total, they're all exterior lights. I'm gonna get cracking with that. I'm not gonna do them all today. because I've got a lot of gardening to be doing, but front ones hopefully get around the front ones, yeah. And what else we got going on? Today? I'll tell you, we've got the guys installing the pavement in the basement. Is it going in today? Um, yeah. The, uh, well, he's got to treat and seal the slabs. Right, so they might not be going in. No, but we're just about to go and have a look at the new concreted floor. Fresco. Oh, look at that, it's really curling yeah. around. Yeah. I'll have a look later uh, at all this, but I've put in some wisteria. It's going to grow up and around the house. It's growing well, isn't it? Yeah. Down in the basement. We're having some limestone paving, which you can see stacked up over there. And then yesterday they've just stuck in new levels uh, to allow the full, for the water to run down. There's gonna be a gully that goes in the middle of this manhole cover. Oh, I can see some. Yeah. Look by the door, little cat paws. Where? I can't see them. You can see them there, look. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I knew someone would have got on it when it was a little bit wet. We are almost ready for the slabs to be installed. Lavender's in full swing as well. Looking good. So as normal, the day started off with a coffee, a good gym session and some breakfast. I've just got out of the shower and today is going to be a day full of gardening and doing little bits around the house we've actually just had some new outside lights i think i mentioned just a second ago and i'm going to start to fit those i think on the walls but before i do that i did start a job on saturday in the garden and i just want to finish that off first so i've got a bed to clear out a few roses to stick in so that is the priority and then if I get time I'll do some electrics. Last week I had a really good week. I went out on a little adventure uh, to a poppy field. I got a message from my stepmom saying that there's this incredible field near to where we live and it's just covered in red. So I was like, that sounds awesome. So we headed out there and we went and checked it out and this is what it looked like. to play 
waiting for your love. So as you can see, that was absolutely beautiful. It's actually the first time that I've ever been to see a poppy field. It's not something that really interested me for the majority of my life. But I think as I'm getting more into my nature and uh, gardening and stuff, I just felt like it was a really peaceful place and it just looked stunning. So yeah, that was a, um, a really nice little trip last week. But anyway, we've got Lumi in her normal spot, having a good old sleep. And so I'm gonna go downstairs now, get all my tools out and get cracking on with that garden. So whilst the work's going on in the basement, I decided to move the car into the courtyard area and the bats have absolutely hammered it with poo. <laughs> Look at the window. It is exactly why I stopped parking the car here. We actually planted this tree because plants that used to be there, they couldn't actually handle the weight of the poo. This one seems to be surviving. I mean, it's getting pretty big, um, but you can see there's like poo all over it. And if you look down there, there's like a black blanket. That's bat poo. See a little bit on that box, but yeah, it's all there. And I can hear them making a noise. It's probably very hot in there today for them. I've just got all of my tools and everything out ready. I actually use a fork just to sort of like loosen up the ground i then get a spade and take the plants out i then rake the soil my broom of course just to brush up any mess and then obviously we've got the roses here and then i've got some rose and shrub feed from miracle grow and my favorite gloves ever that i got for gardening bergen and ball they've got like a herringbone finish of them I used these when I was taking all those stones out of the basement and because of all of the uh, hardcore tugging I actually ripped them just here which is a shame because they're not even that old this is the bed like I showed you earlier we're going to be ripping everything out of there now quickly I'll have to remove the light and the irrigation system out of here whilst I do that um, and I'm thinking actually of putting this grass plant here just in this area of the bed here because there's nothing there the secret garden door above but below it I think that could look quite nice so that will save me putting it around the other side of the house. Lydia out here because I think we're also going to move one of these big white bushes. It's not bushes, it's a tree. It is more of a tree. Oh. Oh. Oh, look who's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are just You're going to help me garden. The sort of design of this area. So this one has two of these white trees that we're going to take out this one. It always gets me that they've got pink buds. Yeah, it's very... Oh, sorry, Lummy. Oh, no, that's the, that is the form bush. Oh, the rose bush, the thorn bush. You helping daddy? Good girl. This is how I snapped my fork before, you see, so. Ali's already snapped one fork. So he's making do with a snapped, snapped tool at the moment. Right, so now we've just taken out that tree, which is lovely. It's gonna be great around the other side of the house. We've now freed up all of this space for our rose bushes. And there's quite a lot of symmetry between the two beds. So we've got a hydrangea sitting in 
at the front here, which will tie in with this hydrangea that's sitting in here. And then there's gonna be four rose bushes in here. But I said to Lids, out of these, I think we should only put three in. So we'll put one in at the back, one in this corner here, and then one in the corner over there. And I think that's enough because this bed is less than half the size. So stick you guys on a time-lapse and I'm gonna get all of this in. have our symmetry so obviously these are all the things that I've taken out and I need to get them planted really quickly because they've been out for about an hour and the roots will be drying I'm gonna get busy with that go through to the new area you can see we've now got our rose bushes in here as well lovely very happy with that and then what I've done is I've just filled in this mud patch down here with this like long grass I'm sure there's a name for that and I'm sure somebody will be able to let me know in the comments. Not sure whether it will stay there forever, but, but it felt like it did a really good job of filling the gap. So yeah, I've just chucked that in there for now. And that little black stick in the middle is our irrigation and that's a 360 degree spray. And that'll cover this whole bed, which is lovely. Good stuff, right. Let's get onto the next and get this into the ground. starlight that we are taking off and this is the new starlight that has just been fitted So there we have it, the finished product. We've currently got four of these installed around the front of the house. There's 15 in total to do, so we've hardly scratched the surface, but they're on, they look good. We need to order some more of these lamps because uh, they actually look really cool. So yeah, another little task ticked off the list. I've just whipped us up a quick dinner and I say whipped us up because I would be kidding if I said that I made this from scratch. This is a Marks and Spencers special. And the reason why I'm vlogging is because look who she's watching on the telly box. 
Get Stop exposing me! Well, you're watching me, you're supporting me. Oh. That's very kind of you. It's because it's 45 minutes long and I like a long vlog. Yeah, good. It's my longest ever vlog, 43 oh, no. minutes. Proud of you. Thanks, I'm making this one long as well. Are you? Do you know what I've learned? I just need to vlog more days rather than just try and vlog in a day. Yeah. It's Are simple, you joking? Really. No. It's, it's... <laughs> Probably going to crack a joke any minute. So anyway, yeah, Come on, in dinner. Is it ready? Look, I'm instructing you on there and I'm oh, instructing so you here. I'm hungry. Yeah, it's looking good as well. Good evening, everyone. So it's been a very hot day today. I think maybe even the hottest day of the year on record. It is just about to come into sunset and I have my friend Timothy over and both of us are going to go for a little stroll into the countryside and take a couple of shots, create a little bit of content. So of course, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. But before I do so, I thought I'd quickly share my outfit, which is going to be accompanied by some suede shoes, I've got some white trousers, and this beautiful turquoise shirt, long jeans watch, and a lock pendant necklace. Very summery, hottest day of the year. Let's do this. Welcome to the vlog, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy's on the bike today. Got the Royal Enfield out in full force. What are you saying earlier? Resembles those of the 50s. Oh, it's been made the same way since the 50s, this model. Yeah, but it's 2018, this model. Lovely piece of work, and I'm out in the Vantage. Another British classic. Another British classic. This is our location. Wow. Yeah, that looks sick, mate. Let's do this. Experience that was. There's nothing better than enjoying a sunset, is there, Timmy? Absolutely not, mate. It's been beautiful. So, so lucky to live here, buddy. I know. Country living's the best, mate. <laughs> so we've just watched the sun go down. If I tap the sky, this camera takes about a year to focus, but it will slowly get darker. Let me just force it. <laughs> there she is. So that's what we're seeing. Ready to ride, boy? <laughs> He's bikes way down there. <laughs> right, race your own. Nat, drive sensibly. Oh my god. Tim has left oh his. How do you say it? Lekia, Lesia. Leica. Leica. Tim's left his Leica in <laughs> different locations around these fields today. I forgot it every time. It's in safe hands. Might keep it for myself. Be the baby.
that was the first in a very long time that I've come down into the basement and had a good stretch. Yesterday was a very busy day in the garden and my back is in absolute bits. So I didn't really fancy training this morning. It's Monday, by the way. And uh, so I thought, do you know what? I do want to loosen my body up and get ready for the day. So I grabbed my coffee, I've come downstairs and I did kind of like a yoga infused stretch. So yesterday, Lids and I came down here and we did a boho beautiful yoga session. I think it might have been yin yoga, which is where you kind of like hold your poses for a couple of minutes. But don't hold me on that, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, this morning I came down, I incorporated a couple of the stretches and the motions or moves that we did yesterday in this morning stretch because there's some really great things to really stretch in your hips and your hamstrings and I did some lower back stretches as well just to kind of like make myself feel a little bit more alive and awake and less stiff because I did wake up this morning a little bit stiff. But yeah, a lovely start to the day. It's very, very windy today. Weather this week's looking a little bit stormy. Like I said, the weekend I managed to get out and do a bit of gardening because we did get some sun over the weekend, which was nice. And I managed to dig out a section of our garden that you can actually see from our kitchen. So if I quickly show you from this window here, if you look out onto our side garden, you'll see that there's a little brown dugout section there. That's a bed that I cut out to put in some wild flower seeds. Basically, the problem with this was, I'll take you out and show you, but it's really windy, so I know you're not gonna hear. There is a manhole cover for our sewage and poo drain, basically, because we're not on mains here, so everything's like septic tanks, gas tanks, and stuff like that. Over there is our septic tank, where, to put it frankly, our poo is. And we don't like to see it, so we decided that we're gonna basically encourage the growth of the wild woodland to come around it so it's hidden so it'll still be accessible for the guys with their long poo pipes but we uh, won't be able to see it which would be nice so that was a job that i did on the weekend and that is what's caused so much back pain it's probably about i don't know it's hard to say maybe five meters squared um in space and it was just like so rocky and stony and i was having to do it with a shovel lots of digging through bricks and all that sort of crap and also it's very clayey around buckinghamshire and northamptonshire uh, in general so the ground is quite tough to get through but we made it it's seeded up um, and then hopefully in the next sort of month or something uh, we'll start seeing some growth on there, but I didn't read to find out how long it takes. That was uh, my main task of the weekend. And then I quickly want to show you actually some tools that I picked up for Lids because Lydia wanted some kind of like classic styled garden tools that she could use. And I did actually purchase her a different pair of pruning shears, but they didn't arrive in time, which was a big shame. So I picked up these ones that I just definitely broke. What did I do there? <laughs> what happened there? There she is. And I grabbed all this stuff off of Amazon. I'll try and find a link for you, but basically I just wanted to get things with like wooden handles. These both say Rolson on them. I thought I'd brought a different brand, but Perhaps it's the same brand and this is just something else. This is basically when you want to seed something, you just stab this in the ground uh, and then you can sprinkle your seeds in and then just cover it over. So it just makes light work of that. And then we've got some gardening scissors here, which Lydia actually purchased these, not me. She did tell me what these were called yesterday. Oh gosh, what were they called? No, it begins with N, I think. I'll write it in the description box, um, but these are lovely. And then I got this little pouch to stick her pruning shears in, which she can attach to her belt when she's out in the garden, which should distress over time, which will be lovely. This little purchase here, which was another one from Amazon, is a pair of rose pruning gloves. So basically this part here covers up your forearms so you don't get got when you're reaching through because they can be a little bit spiky. Um, I actually got myself a pair of these as well, just a different brand. Um, so yeah, I just think they look really cool in a little basket. She actually uses this when she's de-heading roses just to put the petals and stuff in here. So she's now all kitted out with her own little gardening kit. These are some lovely flowers that she received from Faces by Grace. Very sweet. These are actually really nice. They're like dried out. Lovely, really nice flowers. So yeah, let's quickly go outside and I'll uh, show you what I was doing on Sunday.
A little update on the wisteria. As you can see, it's starting to really grow and come to life. They're really enjoying being on this bed, actually. There's a lot of growth on all of them. I'd say that we've probably grown about a foot and a half since they were planted last week. So it's gone crazy. And also the lavender is even coming out even more. It's so purple at the moment. It's lovely, it smells amazing too. And of course, we are still going through the renovation of the basement area. So we've got the builders in, as you can see. If you wanna go and see what that looks like, that's gonna be in Lydia's video tomorrow. So if you wanna to go to her channel, you'll see the new paving down there. But this is where I was working on Sunday. As you can see, I've dug out this section here. So basically, I wanted to keep this channel flowing around so we've got it kind of like curving in both sides and then that curves in and around and then sort of like goes back into this section of the woodlands and just sort of like curves it off nicely. So I've managed to get this hopefully to kind of like seamlessly fit in uh, to this section of the garden and then this manhole cover here which is basically an inspection cover if we have a look inside it you'll see what I mean. There she is. So this is actually going to be changed and we're going to be putting either an astro grass top on or we're going to try and find one that's deep enough to be able to soil and grow real grass in there and then it will just look seamless which is very similar to the kind of thing they do in patios but obviously we're going to be doing it on the garden instead. I've been continuously watering this hedge line as well to try and keep these as alive as possible and they're being getting battered about at the moment because it's very windy. Also, I'm not sure if you guys remember about a year ago, I did a vlog where me and my granddad, we actually um, tidied up the courtyard area. And this is one of the plants that we weren't sure whether we were gonna get a second year out of. And it started to come to life. I put some slug repellent pellets around the base of it because they started to hammer it. You can see there's still a couple of leaves that they've obviously got to. In general, it looks like it's in good health. And yeah, I'm hoping that this is gonna come up soon. So this will actually probably come to about four foot. And then we have these beautiful flowers that will blossom. So it just feels like it's a little bit late in the year, but I'm hopeful that we're still gonna see that. And then there is also one this side that's not doing so well, as you can see, it's not developed, but we have had three sprouts that have come up. So again, keep my fingers crossed, hopefully we will get some flower from this. So this morning for the first time, I had a woodpecker land on the bird feeder and I managed to catch it on film, which I'm very, very happy about. So that will also be used in a vlog next week. So you'll see that next week's video, but it was a beauty. It was red, white, and black. So we also get the green and yellow ones here, but we also get those ones. So it was really nice to capture that one because they're a little bit rarer around here anyway. So yeah, in general, it was a very productive weekend. I managed to get a fair amount of gardening done. And then Lids and I actually settled down on Sunday evening and I watched Notting Hill for the first time ever. How did I, babe? Watch. Yeah, I managed to escape watching that <laughs> for all of these years and I felt like you missed I, out. That's what yeah, that's what I was going to say. You thought that you were protecting yourself from what was going to be a, a real chick flick. Yes. So you loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was funny. And my partner in crime, James, actually resembles Hugh Grant so much and in particular Hugh Grant in Notting Hill. The girls have always called him Flopsy and I've just sort of like found it funny because he had like the floppy hair. But now I truly understand the personality resemblement. Resemblement. Is resemblement a word? Resemblance. Resemblance. Yeah. See, sometimes you just have to check with people because otherwise you guys will be up in my grill giving me stick about that. <laughs> but now I've watched it, I can truly see the relent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but now I've what? <laughs> oh God, it's hard. The pressures of social media get too much. Oh, God. But now I've watched it, I can actually see the resemblance between him and Hugh Grant in that, and it just makes it even more funnier. But anyway, it's time to wrap up the vlog. Me and Lumi are starting off the week nice and slow, aren't we, darling? Expected nothing less from her. And um, we've actually been having some further discussions about this office space, which may mean even more changes than first thought. But I've had some good chats with Andy, our carpenter. Uh, he's fantastic and he's uh, made some good suggestions also. So yeah, 
I'll keep you updated as and when changes are made with that. But of course, due to the current climate, things are a little bit slower. So bear with me whilst we get working on this project, but I'll keep you updated as soon as I know more. And I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay informed when I post. So have a great rest of the week and I'll be seeing you very soon. Peace.